Okay, so remember, when we evaluate logs, we can read log as what power to help us simplify. Okay, so for instance, if I'm trying to find out what log, what power this needs to be, I'm going to start at 10, go to the outside, and then finish here. So I could do 10 to what power will give me 1,000. Okay. So 10 to what power will give me 1,000? So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, because there's three zeros over here. So 10 to the third power give me 1,000. Okay? Same concept right here. This will give me 10 to what power will give me 100, which will be x equals 2. 10 to what power will give me 10? x equals 1. 10 to what power gives me 1? This is where people start tripping up. So that means 10 to what power give me 1? That's going to be x equals 0. Anything raised to the 0 power gives us 1. On the next one, I've got 10 to what power will give me 1 tenth. Remember, in order to get 1 tenth, I've got to flip this. So it's going to be negative for sure. And then 10 to what power will give me 10? Well, that's the first power. For the next one, I've got 10 to what power will give me 1 out of 100, which is going to be x equals negative 2. Okay. They asked us down at the bottom to formulate a rule based on your results above. So if k is an integer, then the log of base 10 of 10 to the k equals what? So in order to solve this, I'm going to go from 10, and theoretically there would be an x right here, and then finish here. So 10 to the k power, or to the x power, sorry, equals 10 to the k power. Well, if we have the same base, then that means that x equals k. So really I could just write this out as log of base 10 of 10 to the k equals just k. Okay, so we have a couple of different rules um, and properties that we use in order to help simplify or elongate those logs. Okay, so for instance, this is our product rule. So what we're seeing with the pro product rule is that if there's an addition sign in between two logs of the same base, then you can multiply what's inside of their parentheses. Okay. So we're going to write out this example. So we've got log of base 2 of 4 times 8 equals log of base 2 of 4 plus log of base 2 of 8. Okay. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to do the long version. On the left-hand side, it's going to be the short version. So on the right-hand side, this is what you would normally write out. Okay. If I were to plug this side into my calculator, I would have to do log of 4 divided by log of 2 plus log of 8 divided by log of 2. Okay, And I could go into my calculator and I could type that in. But it's going to take me a pretty long time to type that in. So, really quick. Seismos. Come in here and I go log of 4 divided by log of 2 plus log of 8 divided by log of 2. And that gives me 5. And it's not too bad to type in if we have Desmos, but if you have a graphing calculator, it takes a little bit longer. However, what you could have done instead is you could have been like, all right, 4 times 8 gives me 32. So this is log of base 2 of 32. Now I'm just going to do the change of base form. Log of 32 divided by log of 2. And if you just put that in, it's going to give you 5. So now we're going to look at the quotient rule. So if you have 
two numbers that are divided by each other, you can write them out with the same base for subtraction. Okay, so I'm going to write this out. Log of base 3 of 81 divided by 3 equals log of base 3 of 81 minus log of base 3 of 3. And I'm not going to do the right-hand side because I already know that the left-hand side is going to be simpler, right? So we know that 81 divided by 3 is going to give us 27, or you could just use a calculator to help you out with that. And then you want to take the log of 27 divided by the log of 3. When you do that, you get 3 as your answer. On the power rule, what's going to happen is you're going to take whatever your exponent is, and you pull it out front. Okay, You're most of the time going to see on your SAT something that's like this. But these are the same things. So we've got log of base 4 of 4 to the second power. And another way to write that is to take 2 times log of 4. And so 4 to the second power is going to give me 16. So log of 16 divided by log of 4 is going to give you 2. Okay, so on this left-hand side, you've got the solution, the simplified form. And on the right-hand side, this is all your expanded form. So we're going to figure out which one matches up to which. I'm going to start over here, though. So I know that with this first one, we're using the power property. That means that we're going to take that 4 and bring it out back. So we're going to have log of 3 raised to the 4th power. So log of 3 to the 4th power is going to give you log of 81. And is that an option over here? Yes, it is. Okay, so I see that I've got an addition sign in between these two, which means I'm going to use the product rule, right? Which means that I'm going to multiply what I have in the parentheses together. So that's going to give us log of 12. Is that an option? Yes, it is. On the next one, we notice that there's a number out front. So we're going to raise this guy to that exponent. So we've got log of 4 raised to the third power, which is going to give you log of 64. And then we see that there's subtraction in between. So that's going to be a quotient rule. So that's going to be log of 3 divided by 4, which is what this first one is. Remember that base 10 is what we normally work out of. Okay, so if nothing is written right there um, beside log in like a lower subscript, it's always going to be at a base 10. So looking at these next few things, base 10 is called common log. Um, and the reason why it's called common log is because our number system works 1 to 10, and then we start that process over. We always go up by 10s. Okay, so you can always use a calculator to find log of some number. So for instance, right here, you could type in log of base 10 of 818 um, into Desmos. So there's two different ways you can type them in. You can either do log of 818, or you can say log base 10 of 818. And notice how it gives you the exact same answer. Okay, so it gives you the same answer because our logs work out of base 10. Now, if you're doing this in a graphing calculator, this little 10 won't pop up. You can't get it to pop up unless you do change the base form, which is what we're going to talk about in just a second. So when you do this, you're going to get 2.912. I think it was 912. Yep, 2.912. Then log of. 0.0032, which is negative 
on the next one, you get log of 1 divided by 25, which is negative 1.397. Many times, logs um, aren't found because of user error. That means that you're not typing it into the calculator correctly. Um, so make sure that you understand that your calculator works out of base 10, and you don't include that little, little 10 unless you're working in Desmos. So the different bases, so this is the change of base formula. So if you have an actual calculator, um, this is what you're going to have to use in order to work that calculator. So what I have shown you all in the past is that if you have log of your base of your solution, then in order to put this into change of base formula, you're going to go log of your solution divided by your log of your base. And you can see that in this formula as well. Okay, so down here, and this says a little three, you're going to do log of 45 divided by log of three. You do have to be careful when you type this into your calculator. If you don't use parentheses, you're wrong. So, for instance, if I come in here and I say log of 45 divided by log of 3, that's going to give me something different from log of 45 divided by 3. Okay, the correct way to do it is this first one. So that's going to give you 3.465. And looking at that next one, that is a 3 down at the bottom. So that's log of 0.5 divided by log of 3. Again, this is a 3 right here. And so that's going to give you negative 0.63. And then on the last one, you're going to get 2.59. Now you could do this either of two ways. You could either type it in identical to what it says. So you could have said log of 392, or you could have done log of 392 divided by log of 10. And it gives you the same thing. However, since our calculators work at a base 10, there's no reason to do a change of base. Change of base means you are actually changing the base from being 2 to then 10 once you do this. Okay? Okay.